Around this time last year, we were just really starting to see how the pandemic would change all of our lives. It was a brand new virus and most of us weren't even wearing masks. And since we didn't have a crystal ball, we looked at data modeling, especially from the University of Washington. How accurate were their predictions? And even scientists couldn't foresee the personal loss they'd experience. We have a deadly virus that is circulating in our population. At the start of the pandemic, models created by the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation warned us of the challenges we'd face. So at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, we were requested by UW Medicine to provide a forecast uh, for them to prepare for the search. And remember those daily coronavirus task force meetings? Even the White House cited their work. Simultaneously, there was a modeler out of the University of Washington that modeled from cases up, utilizing the experience around the globe. The fact that we were doing this for every country in the world, it was very important for us because it made our models much better than anybody else. How accurate were they? This interview with my colleague Chris Daniels was done in May 2020 when the death toll nationally was about 70,000. 134,475 deaths by August. Yes, 134,500 by August 4th, yes. Those projections made national headlines because it meant the death toll could double in just three months. And it turned out we would exceed that number slightly with nearly 149,000 deaths nationwide by August. UW models became more accurate over time with more data to work with. In December, UW predicted 538,000 Americans would die of COVID by this month. And sure enough, we just passed that number. We don't want to scare people. That's not what I'm here for. I'm more interested in changing the projections. So I want to put a number out and say, this is what you can do to prevent the scenario from happening. So each dose gets the diluent and the mixing, and then I have to send syringes for all of them. Part of prevention is getting people vaccinated. Clinicians look at statistics, how many cases and how many people have perished right now with the, the variant strain. These are families that are being impacted and not just for a day. I mean, this is forever. Infection control nurse Virginia Ramos works at CMAR, where they're administering vaccines. She's been on the front lines of the pandemic in what would become one of the hardest years of her life. It really, really hit home at that point. The reality of everything then and just not the mechanics of coming to work um, really hit home. King 5 News first met Virginia at this commemoration, ringing the Kobe bell to honor victims of COVID-19. It was just a very special moment to have reverence for my aunt and, and for my cousin who had passed away. That's right. She lost two family members to COVID, and they died within just three weeks of each other. Her aunt, Angelica Martinez, and her cousin, Roberto Briseño. Yes, in December, my aunt um, passed from COVID, and then in January, my cousin passed from COVID. Virginia wears her aunt's picture on a pin placed above her heart. Her aunt was 75 years old. I have to be honest, after the end of a really busy, you know, scary year to then have lost my aunt, that it almost broke me. And Dr. Ali Mokdad, the man behind those COVID charts. I know you're doing a story about the numbers, but families, uh, moms, sons, brothers and daughters, I mean, these are not numbers. What he had no way of predicting was the personal loss his own family would experience, losing two of his beloved cousins. It's very hard. I mean, let me tell you on a professional and on a personal level. On a personal level, I lost two cousins, brothers, within three days to COVID-19. So all of us have been impacted by COVID-19. And many of my family members have lost their jobs and, you know, it has been a disaster on all of us. So it has been a really tough year for our healthcare workers, especially those with some personal loss. Coming up tomorrow, hear more from Dr. Mokdad on the tough year it's been professionally as well. And since UW modeling was so accurate last year, what are they predicting for 2021? Will there be another surge of COVID next winter?